Hello, I'm Mr. L. I teach at Maple Leaf Tianjin. Uh, what you see here is the 11-1, so grade 11, class 1 homeroom. They spend uh, Mondays to Thursdays evening study, which is also what you see. Uh, it's a chance for teachers, counselors, as well as students to work together to make sure that they're getting the uh, homework practice that they need and that they can work with one another to get answers. Often what happens is uh, teachers who live near the area will come in and help the students as well. No, 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 the daughter doesn't have the last thing that she says is give back to the uh, The students are very respectful. There's a large student body. Uh, but the problems we deal with at the school are very small. Uh, they're eager to learn. They, they show a lot of interest in the subjects we teach. Life in China, well, that's a part of it. I mean, if you are working in a place where you know you've got like-minded colleagues, you know, people who will share your outside interests to burn off the stress that comes with any job, teaching being one of them. A little bit, so we need to put in some more flour. You don't want it to be sticky or it won't work very well when we start rolling it out using the cookie butter. I've been working with Maple Leaf for three years now, going into my fourth next year. Hard to say, there is such a diverse group of students that we have. Um, they're a joy. They're, it's fun to watch them grow and I've had the experience of watching them go from grade 10 to graduates and just like any student watching them mature and excel and find their passion, they're the same as any other high school student. Uh, Tata is amazing because it's like a small big city meaning we have access to the different things that a big city offers. We are a, a sort of a suburb, a satellite of Tianjin. Um, so we have access to you know, all the great things that we need if we need them. There's a hospital right next door. There's uh, international foods I can get. Uh, for me, deli meats is a bit of a weakness. I can get deli meats from around the world, here, easily, um, at a good price. Uh, and that tastes great. Cheeses, other things that, you know, the life here is, is great. China is special because it's bordered by, uh, land border by 14 different countries. Uh, and there's no other country in the world that is, has more land borders than China, only Russia, which has the same. Um, I've, I've been to about 35 countries now in total. And in Asia, I mean, it's, it's hard because there's, there's so many different places. Living in China can be a challenge. I love the excitement. I chose to start my career uh, and continue my career in China and abroad. Sometimes trying to find food is fun or getting a taxi is fun. So talking about the apartments, a one bedroom apartment in this area ranges at about 3,000 RMB. Uh, you can get a two bedroom, much roomier apartment that has a separate room for a washing machine as well as sort of a balcony, those are about 4,000 RMB. The apartments are fully furnished. Most of the time you can go through the school to find a realtor or there's available ones privately which some colleagues can help you with. Like I said, they're fully furnished. Uh, what you need to worry about is just making sure to pay electricity as well as water. There's also a security payment that we ask for which covers the uh, area you're living in. There's a poster of China. So here we are, Tianjin. Uh, Tianjin is a coastal city. And I've been live here for 17 years. Here we have some seafoods. Two major food here is very special from other province. One is uh, a kind of dumpling, but it's called gou bu li. It's kind of dumpling, but it's round. The other is Chinese pancake, which is called jian bing guo zi. Our BC teachers, our foreign teachers, always like to buy this two kind of food as their breakfast or lunch. If you want to uh, try them, please come and visit us. We are really welcome you. Come, absolutely come. And if it's really not for you, then you, know, you can go home. But uh, I would say go for it. Why not? Why not give it a try? 
why not give it a shot? If you can't find a job at home or there's something about teaching Canadian students that isn't scratching that itch, that isn't fulfilling you, why not come and give China a try? Uh, I would say why not. You're, uh, you know, I mean, depending on what you'd like to do in your career, it's an amazing opportunity to go travel the world. The school itself is fantastic. Um, there's a perfect balance between being professional at work and then also enjoying your weekends and going on adventures. Hello, I'm Vivi, the counselor from Tianjin Taida Maple Leaf International School. I will be here for two years. Tianjin Taida Maple Leaf is full of energetic and lovely maple leafers. The counselors and BC teachers cooperate closely together. So I'm looking forward to your coming to Maple Leaf. Welcome to join us. Hello, I'm Helen, the counselor of grade 10 from Tianjin Taida Maple Leaf International School. I have been working here for six years. I admire the educational idea, respect, care, guidance, and achievement. I also appreciate all my students here. They are outgoing, creative, and international. And I like working with all the busy teachers here. They are always ready to co cooperate with me to help all my students. One team, one goal. Let's work together. Hello, I'm Lucy, the Foreign Affairs in Maple Leaf International School, Tianjin Tida. I will help you to get your Chinese salary card, your tax receipts, your U-Fly and visa-related reimbursement, your air ticket and uh, shipping boxes issues. In addition, I will work with Financial and General Affairs Office to provide you a nice and healthy environment to work and live in Tianjin. Welcome to Tianjin Maple Leaf. Hello, I'm Brittany, the Secretary of Foreign Affairs in Maple Leaf International Schools, Tianjin Teda. I will help you to get your resident permit, work permit, visa, insurance, and so on, and take you to medical check. Welcome to Maple Leaf International School, Tianjin Teda. Hi, I'm Tracy. I'm a grade 11 student. I've been Maple Leaf for three years, and I want to say that I really enjoy the teaching style here, and all the BC teachers are very nice. The students and BC teachers have really good relationship. Maple Leaf is really like a nice, cozy family, and we all welcome new teachers to join us. Hi, I'm Lisa. Uh, I'm a student from grade 11. So I've been Maple Leaf for two years. I'm from a public school in China. So the teaching style and the knowledge are brand new for me. Always share some new experience and share our life experience. So I'm here in our social study 11 classroom. Uh, this posters behind me is all posted with, uh, by our teachers and students together. So it's really nice to work with our teachers because we can really find and explore something new. My name is Hans Han, and I'm the uh, student from Tianjin Tita Maple Leaf International School. I'm in grade 11, class 1, and the, uh, which is the Joan Lai class. I'm also the manager of Joan Lai class. And uh, I'm also the one of the Frisbee club. And here's our Frisbee, uh, frisbee team. And uh, uh, I love their enthusiastic. And the reason why I choose to come to Maple Leaf is uh, I, I really like the teacher in here, which is they have also the enthusiastic and the energetic, and also they treat every student in the same way. And I really hope there is a new teacher can come to teach us, and uh, we will be a good friend. Thank you. Hello, my name is Max Stone. I'm coming from Great Chow. I love this American football very much. And uh, I'm enjoying with play with the BC teacher after class. And I love this relationship with teacher. This environment, I very love it. I hope you can join us. We are Nicer Football Club. We are waiting for you in Tianjin Tita Maple Leaf. Hi, uh, now I'm at the gate of uh, Tianjin Tida campus and uh, now it's a beautiful day. There are uh, two different directions that will take you to different places. If on my left, all the way you'll see uh, 
when you walk for about five minutes, there will be a Qingui station, which has a light rail train that will take you to all the way to the city center of Tianjin. On my right, that's where you can head to the center of Tida. Uh, there are a lot of supermarkets over there. You can buy fruit, uh, different grocery, vegetable, and of course, a lot of a good restaurant. Uh, we can find from this building. There are lots of classrooms here, so after the science wing, I would like to take you to, uh, we call it wing one. So here is, you can see there are lots of students, because that's the end of the school day. And this, this is the monitor that we use to monitor the air quality in each classroom, because um, during the winter time, the Tianjin uh, air pollution get really, uh, sometimes get really bad. So now, every single classroom has been installed two air purifiers, and this is how we monitor the air quality in each classroom. This is the air purifier that been installed last year. So each classroom has been installed two air purifiers. One is close to the back of the classroom, and the other one is closer to the front side of the classroom. And that's what we'll see in each classroom in uh, Maple Leaf. Maple Leaf Food Culture Square. Inside we have a uh, different part of, of China's cuisine and also we have a large seating area for both students and, and staff members. So every day from 12.10 to uh, 10 past 1, that's when the lunch time is and that's where, this is where most students and staff eat lunch and sometimes they'll here to eat breakfast as well as dinner.